rise and we have more in prayer. Hallelujah. Our hands. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to be here. We give you all the glory and the praise. We thank you, Yahweh, for your mighty, mighty good God. We don't deserve your love, but we thank you for being there for us and through, the, through the hard times and the good times. We just ask that you be in the house tonight. We ask that you look over all the tanks that are driving that make you here safely, Yahweh. You know their condition. You know if they're working or not. But just protect them, Yahweh, from the dangerous highways and byways. As we continue to move forward, I'm going to read the scriptures out of Psalms, of Matthews 4, verse 4. And the scripture says, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we thank Yahweh for that scripture out of Matthews, Matthews 4 and 1. You may be seated. So we, we thank Yahweh for watching us all day long. Hallelujah. Uh, it's getting hot and the devil say I can't take this heat no more make you want to start whining and complaining but we have to give praise for every single thing even when it's hot even when it's cold even when it's raining we're supposed to give Yahweh all the glory and praise because he he made it that way who is us to stand in the way of Yahweh hallelujah but I'm not going to clone the time we, we we have ministers that here that Yahweh speaks to. And saints, we got to remember, keep our foot when we come into the Lord's house. All this moving around. Y'all doing a little bit better with the kids going out that door, but we take them around the other side. Let's, let's leave that door for the mothers that have babies and the, and, and the ministers go out there. Other than that, you go all the way around. Hallelujah. But I'm going to uh, not complain time because I know we have men that Yahweh speaks to. Thank y'all wait for my wife. She's on her way here. Thank y'all wait for my kids, my grandbabies. And thank y'all wait for y'all as well. And thank Mexico that's that's over there in Mexico and Pacula. And let's not forget about them as well. Reach out to them on Marco Polo. Whatever you got to do, just reach out. Let them know that you care and that Apostle will be there as soon as he can. And don't give up the fight. It's hard, you know struggling, don't have nothing to eat, and so on. But we got to keep praying. We got to keep raising the funds. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, at this time, possible. Minister. Well, me? Uh, amen. amen. It's, it's weird. Y'all have to feel because it because it's, it's something else we got to give the greater uh, to the other bishops first. Then, then it goes down. But I think y'all will give me this opportunity to say a few words. Uh, you know, Yahweh, the last message came forth. It pricked my heart. I had to do something. I couldn't just sit over there and just keep getting them whooping. So I came and kneeled down. Like King David, when he sinned, he laid on the floor and he felt bad for what he did. And I couldn't just sit there. I had to get up. I, I, I wasn't ashamed about anybody watching me look at me. Right, yeah. I examined myself, my soul, and, and, and the devil said, you doing good. That's all the devil said. But the devil said, you don't have to do that over there. You're doing good. And he got me focused on that. And when the word came forth, lo and behold, I got a good whooping. That, it pricked my heart, made me feel bad, and made me cry. And I said, I got to do something by myself. I got to do the other part. Because I'm doing good over here, but I got to do that part. As I'm a pastor. I got to do things of a pastor. I can't just come up here and do things. You know, naturally, so I got to do the scriptures as well. And y'all too, y'all are saints, mothers, fathers, kids, bishops, supervisors, deacon. Y'all are important too. Y'all got a work to do too. Y'all, didn't, he didn't chose you for a reason. I mean, he chose you for a reason. You highly blessed to be in these chairs and be in the church. He could have, he could have chose somebody else. You're highly blessed, but you know what? You don't think about that. You, you get in this routine, you go to work, come home change come to church yeah every single day the same routine but after a while it gets old Amen. you get you get you get caught in this uh this loop so-called loop and you're not careful the devil will fool you said well i do go to church tuesday thursday and sunday i do show up but do you do the other stuff there's more than just going to church tuesday thursday and sunday that's other things to do besides church Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That's right. Hallelujah. Yes. 
So I, when the word came forth, I was sitting on there examining myself. I said, you know what? I need to get up. I need to clear my name. I need to make sure that I, uh, 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 bring my fault before the church that, you know, as a pastor, I have a duty to do the pastor. And I can't hide behind, you know, these little mechanical things that they send to keep me alive. It has nothing to do with that. The devil say, you got to pass. You can just sit over there because your condition. Now we have example for that. We have the late pastor children. He had a bag on the side of him. And that didn't stop him from preaching. That didn't stop him from praising the Lord. That didn't stop him from being a pastor. And I, and, and we got examples in here, saints. We got a lot of examples. Great crowd of witnesses in the church. So if you struggling in anything, I mean the smallest thing, you got look to the examples. But you're not going to do that because you in the world doing your job or driving, whatever. Your mind is not on that. When you uh, 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 so-called uh, uh, trying to make it through the day, your mind is not on the Lord 24-7 like it should be because you ain't got to that point yet. You still down here. You need to uh, 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 slow down a little bit and say, Lord, have I done your will today? Have I kept my mind on you? Have I did something for you today lately? If I have not, I have not done well. Right. So when I at the end of the day, I cannot say that I did all I could do. Yeah. And that's not good enough for the Lord. That's he right. wants you to do everything perfect Amen. and for serving him faithfully. That's right. Not just a little bit because you're doing a little bit good. Lord say that's good, but you need to come up over here. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, let's get into scripture. Uh, let's go to uh, Titus. Ch- uh, Titus chapter three. Yahweh. Yahweh, bless my tongue. Give me the Yahweh. words to say in that hour. Yes. Amen. Absolutely. I'm not going to let the devil ride and drive me Hallelujah. crazy. Amen. <laughs> I had to get back on my post. Uh, Amen. Titus chapter 3, verse. We're heading start at the very first verse. Amen. Titus 3 and 1. What did it say? For it is written. Yes. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers. Now, Titus, I mean, Paul speaks all through the New Testament. He came to Titus uh, uh, to this this uh, this uh, place and he had Titus to do a work there. Hallelujah. And he's he was telling them, like, look, y'all gonna have to get yourself together. It's too much. Losing the faith, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're doing whatever you want to do, when you want to do, and you're getting away from uh, serving me. Amen. God is not marked to be played with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So He sent Titus there to put them in remembrance what the Lord uh, want them to expect of them. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Read that again. Put them in mind. Put them to in be mind. Subject. To be to, subject to principalities and powers. Yes. To obey magistrates. Uh huh. To be ready to every good work. And read that last part. To be to ready, be ready for every good work. Now, that's not just some things. That's just say because you're not doing it. You're raising popcorn and selling <laughs> and on the side. That's good. We encourage you to keep doing that. But Amen. there's more to it just uh, doing fundraising. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm not going to uh, put you down because you've been doing that. I need to do it too. Amen. You got to do a little bit more than that. Amen. You got to real dig. I used to say this back in the day when I was in college. You got to dig real deep into your soul. Yes. To get the good part of that part that's inside of your your body. Don't you know there's a, a piece of a, 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 a power inside your spirit that you don't tap into all the time? That's why you have all these athletes so good what they do because they learn to tap into that piece of their soul. That's why they're so good at it. That's why they're so good at it. It's, it seems effortless to them, but to someone that don't know how to tap into that kind of power, it's hard for them. Amen. It is really hard for them, so they struggle. Amen. But we got to learn to dig deep, That's deep, right. deep, Amen. as uh, uh, Apostle Hurley said, to get to that next level. Yes, now, we all come short of that. We all can get to that next level, Amen. even higher. If you're on this level, you get even higher than that. Amen. But you got to obey those that have the rule over you. I'm talking about not just some of the ministers, all of them. 
Even yeah. one you think don't even uh, that you don't look up to, even them, but God put them in that position for a reason. Amen. I may not be the best speaker, but I have words to say. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm not a good speaker. I tell you that now. Amen. I'm not a very good speaker, but I have a. Uh, uh, I used to do chilling. I used to motivate the cheerleaders to tap into that uh, extra spirit. And that's why they're the best. That's why we was able to win because we were going up to uh, uh, some of the best of the best. I've been trained and, and money best buy. But here's some little ones that don't have a lot of money, can go to the trainer and afford all that. And I learned to get inside their mind. I, I learned to say, look, slow down. Let's just meditate. Meditate before you practice. Meditate before you go out there. Meditate before you perform. We do that first. Before you do anything, it's kind of like exercise. If you don't exercise his mind, yeah. it'll get weak. Yeah. You don't exercise his muscle, it will get weak. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But uh, Titus uh, was telling the people there, look, y'all need to pay attention. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Understand principality and power. And you learn to do good work. Whatever it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just stay focused. Don't lose track. Stay focused. Yes, Yahweh. Amen. Amen. Read. Amen. To be ready to every good work. To speak evil of no man. Yes. Speak evil of no man. That's right. That's, that's what I'm saying is don't be talking behind people back. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Yes, Yahweh. Speak good of people. Speak good of your brother and sister. Amen. Speak good of the, your co workers. Whoever you come in contact, because you never know, that may be an angel. Even when you get frustrated with people on your jobs, and I know people in here got jobs, and they can be oh, really a uh, headache and hard to deal with. Amen. You probably experienced that. If you're not, just keep working. You will. <laughs> you heard the testimony of some other on their job. Uh, Mother Kathy uh, had to deal with situation on her jobs and some of the other people. They're hard to deal with. They're, sometimes they really hard to to deal with, and you have to remember uh, to reach in your bag and remember what you've been taught over the years, because you're going to get frustrated. You you got to slow down enough and say, let me reach in my bag and be able to use this in that in that hour, because they going that you want to get out of spirit. You can't do that, but you want to. But you said, no, I got to beat and bring my body and suggest I have to beat it. I have to hold my tongue, hold my peace so that I can stay in the spirit so I don't give them people mind. That way, I, before I stand before God, he said, you did well. That's right. Amen. But in that hour when that person talking to you, Amen. you're not thinking about that. You're thinking about other things. That's right. You're like, uh, I'm sick and tired of y'all messing with me, telling me what to do and, and, and taking advantage of me. You want me to, uh, I'm sick of this. It's been going on and on and on for so long. I have to say something, but you don't do that. Amen. You, I, I have to remember the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep reading. To speak evil of no man. Speak evil of no man. To be no brawlers. To be, we don't fight, saints. No. We do not fight under, under circumstances. We do not fight anybody. Amen. Not saints, not people on our jobs. We do not fight people. Because we're supposed to let our light shine. So when they see us, they're going to say, them some good people. They must be some spiritual people. I've never seen them fight. I've never seen them get out, lose out of control or get frustrated. You have, I know it gets tough working with people on yeah. jobs. Yeah. It gets very, very frustrating. Even yeah. when you go to college, it gets frustrating being around those students and teachers and stuff because they don't act right. They love the world. They think like the world. They're not thinking about God. They're not thinking about spiritual stuff. They're not thinking about serving God like they're supposed to. So you know what they do? They, they get frustrated. Oh, yeah. And they come at you because the devil say, hook, get him, get her. Because they serving God. Amen. Pick on them. Don't pick on them because I already got them. I want you to focus all your time on them. Yes, Lord. And then you'll feel like they picking on you. You Have you ever been in them shoes? Absolutely. It don't feel good, do it? And if you're not careful, you're going to give in to it and then you have to repent. You don't want to do that. I've been in those shoes before. Child care associates, I've been on there. My boss used to pick on me because I was the only guy there and be all those women there and she act like I'm the only person supposed to do everything. 
I'm, it gets real tough being the only guy on the job and all women there and they act like I'm supposed to do everything. They act like the only they supposed to do is just teach. I was a maintenance man. I was a housekeeper. I was slash half cook. Yes. Uh, and et cetera, et cetera. The only thing that I didn't do, I wasn't a director and I wasn't a supervisor. I mean, the secretary. Other than that, I was all those positions. And that gets frustrating after a while. Yeah. Like, I have to remember the words. Beat and bring your body and sit. Remember, don't say nothing. Just go ahead and do it. Give you 200% yes. like the Spirit told you to. Yes. I'll take care of them. In the, uh, you just keep performing. Keep performing. Don't give up. Don't get start losing that faith. Don't be yes. down on self. Don't get depressed. Don't get frustrated. Just keep moving forward. Yes. And wow. you'll, see, you'll see what I'll do to them. You don't have to say a mumbling word. I'll fight your battle for you. I told you I'll fight your battle for you. You ain't got to say a mumbler. And when you see it, then you'll know Yahweh's with you. Because I've been in those shoes. I've been in those shoes time or two. With Everson, it was his manager. Always picked on me all the time. For a whole year. And at the end of the year, Yahweh moved him completely out of the way. He got a promotion to another Everson. And when he got there, he got fired. And they told him, I said, yeah, that's Yahweh. Amen. Because he did me wrong. Now, I'm not saying that I wanted that to happen to him. Because we don't ever want that to happen to people. Yeah. So our job is to let our light shine and uh, 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 reconcile everybody back, uh, people back to God. We don't want to ever think bad about people. Our job is to let our light shine bright. Young or old. That's our job. That's what the Lord chose us. Like I said, I'm not a good speaker, but that's what the Lord chose us. So if you're in the church, he chose you for a reason. Whether you're young or old, just because you get old, that don't mean that that you can't do nothing else. He's still using you when you get old. More so when you're young, because he calls you young people because you're strong. And the people in the middle, he still got something to do. Yeah. Yeah. Some still for you to do. Yeah, but saints, to this thing is real. Yeah. Like I, I was telling my son, we had to go help my wife last night at Subway. Pastor Hurley was there, and uh, and she had me do some things, and I was getting frustrated. But she didn't know that. I didn't tell her that. I just kept it to myself. And then you know I was hurting, but I didn't tell her that. And then I guess my son saw it. And I went to go sit down. He said, I get it, Dad. Hallelujah. I didn't tell him nothing. He, he said, I get it for you. I do. Yes. But I didn't want my wife, because a man is going to do what a man got to do. Yes. I don't want my wife to know I got no pain, that I'm suffering. She got enough to bear one. That's just going to weigh her down. Yes. My job is to be there for her, to comfort her, to make sure she's okay. Yes. That's my job as a husband. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Yes. Much that lies in me. The best ability, what I'm saying is, yeah. be there for your wife. Yeah. You yeah. married her for a reason. Yes. Mm-hmm. When you were young and she looked good to you, you Thank did you. everything you could to get her. <laughs> you went all out the way to get that woman, right. to get that lady. Right. Yes. Now that you've been married for a while, uh, things are not like it used to be with at the beginning. I can slack off a little bit. No, no, no. Hallelujah. Remember your vows to the Lord? Yes. Through rich or poor, through sickness and hell. Oh, Remember yes. those vows that you said to the Lord? Yes. No, but this is what happens. People get away from that. Amen. Quick to get divorced like that. Yes. Oh, well, I'm tired of you. I go find somebody else. Yes. Oh, For whatever reason. Yeah, oh, true. They even about yeah, they're just ready to, to do other things. <laughs> Men and women things. Amen. And then once they get old, they're ready to pack up and leave to go to the next person. Yeah. Men and women today, as for as being in marriage, they don't take it serious like they used to. Oh. It's just a common thing now. Oh, yeah. Marriage today, divorce tomorrow. Yeah. Have yeah. kids, run off. Man, run off. Don't know where he is. Yeah. Trying to duck from paying child support. And a woman don't want to raise the kids. They're just everywhere, running the streets, doing drugs, whatever they may do. And the government just letting them do it. They said, well, I'm going to call 911 if you touch me. Back then, we respect our elders back then. 
I wouldn't dare call no 911 on my grandmother. She said, here, here's the phone. I said, no, mom. Mm-mm. She said, because she said, before they get here, you're going to get a good one to take with you. I said, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I respected my grandmother. Short as she could be, she was about this tall. I was taller than her, but that little lady had so much authority and power, she scared the heck out of me. I was scared of that little lady. That's how we got to do Yahweh. We got to show Yahweh we fear him. When we're serving him, we fear him. A lot of us got in the way of fearing God. Yes, Yahweh. And that's what it is. You don't fear God like you're supposed to. Because if you fear him, you will show more than what you're showing. Like when the word came forth, I told you, when the word came forth the other day, I was, it pricked my heart bad. I had to do something. Hallelujah. That's I was right. examining myself real good. Amen. I watched myself real good. I had to get up and come kneel before the podium. That's how bad it pricked my heart. I couldn't just sit over there. I don't want to be Esau. I don't want to be a Cain. Yes, Lord. I need to get up and do something. I fear Yahweh. And don't let the devil say that, oh, no, you're doing good, you're doing good, you're doing good. No, you tell yourself you're not doing good so you can keep on performing. Do good. And do better. Go tap into that other spirit that's inside of you. Once You got to meditate. You know why the Bible say meditate day and night? Because when you're hearing these words, sometimes you forget. So you got to go back and slow down. And slow down and try to remember what the word said and take it into your soul. Yes. So when that rainy day, that bad rainy day come, then you remember what the word said. Yes. You put, it's like uh, pre uh, preparation. preparation. Yeah. Pre in front of that preparation. <laughs> so that you know you, that you got uh, uh, your body, your uh, armor on first before you go to battle. Yeah. A lot of us uh, uh, lay down our shield, lay down our sword, yeah. and so you ain't got enough protection on the uh, the fiery when the devil shoots those fiery darts at you. Yeah. You ain't got enough armor on, so he gets you with an arrow on the side, get you off guard when nobody's around by yourself, no saints, no ministers, no supervisor, no deacons by yourself. He said, oh, I ain't nobody around. I can just slip a little bit. No, no, no. God is everywhere watching you. Amen. He sees everything. Amen. But you know what? We don't be thinking about that. Some of us don't. Yes, Lord. We just go every day about our business. Oh, yeah. Caring about the cares of the world. Amen. But when Amen. it comes Tuesday and Thursday, then all of a sudden now you got your mind on God. Amen. You forget about the other days. That's when you want to be serious. Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday, that's when you want to get right. You want to be serious. Amen. But God see right through that. Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Hallelujah. Yes. Trying to hide behind the righteous. I was hiding behind the righteous. Yes. Hallelujah. I preached this message. I said, I, pre- I got preached on myself. Now I know why the Lord told me to speak those words. Because I was doing that. I was hiding behind the righteous. Right. No, I wasn't worth the quarter. But he always give me an opportunity to prove myself again, yeah, yeah. like I was what I was supposed to when back in the former days when I was all about God, nothing else. Amen. I had to go back to the beginning. Like, what was I doing on Southwest Third Street that kept me out of trouble, kept my mind on Yahweh? Let me go back to that. And so I said, well, first thing I need to start going back to the church. I was at church all the time. So I didn't have time to go out there and do stuff. So I was, my mind was on God. Amen. My mind was doing spiritual things. My mind was meditating. My mind was praying. Amen. My, I was even trying to learn how to sing so I can get up here and have a song. Yeah. The Bible said, come with a song, a new song. I was trying to keep all that. And then I was up here practicing and preaching. So I kept my mind on God all the time. Amen. I had to get back to that person. Yeah. I kept myself busy. Yeah. Like okay. apostle, you see how busy he keep himself? Yes. Yeah. None of us come close to that. Hallelujah. But he shows a good example in that area. He got on to his ministers back in the I'm not going to get into it, but I'm just going to give you a brief message. He said, y'all need to get it on y'all posts, from the greatest down to the least. Hallelujah. 
Other yeah. words, you're doing good in it, but you're still leaving this other part undone. Yeah. And we're the same way in here. You're doing yeah, right. good. Don't get me wrong. You're doing good. Whatever you're doing in spiritual life, you're doing good at that. But this other part over here, you're slacking. Hallelujah. You're starting to act like these kids in here. That's why the Spirit's saying, you don't need to whoop your kids if you're not right. Matthew 23 and 23. Please hold up. You're not right. If you're whooping your kid and beating your kid and you're not right, that's not right. God's going to get you. Amen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And when things happen to you, don't act like that is something new. Yes. Because God sees everything. Yes, he, does. That's right. he knows everything. That's right. He yeah. knows when you're going to do it before you do it. Yeah. Your job yeah. is to focus, meditate, look, reach in your back when times are hard, when you're going through trials and tribulation, when people on your jobs are getting, uh, uh, getting, uh, getting the best of you, trying to uh, pr provoke you and irritate you oh, and yeah. get you stressed out and try to... Uh, 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 Try to get make, make you get fired on the job, all these kind of things, oh, yeah. so that you give up and leave the church. Yeah, we don't need no more people leaving the church. Yeah. 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 We got new members in the church; they don't need to see that. We need to keep them encouraged. Yeah. 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 What is going to look like? God brought you in here, and you don't do anything. Yeah. It's a waste of time. That's your way. So true. It's worthless. Yes, Lord. Yeah. He could have. Chose someone else to be in your shoe. But he chose you because he knew what kind of person you was. Amen. That's why you here. You think the man of God uh, can do this thing by himself? No. He said, I depend on y'all to make me look good. If it hadn't been for y'all, I can't do nothing. Because y'all are my, y'all are uh, my, uh, yeah, witness for me. So if y'all not doing that, it makes me look bad when I'm up there preaching or telling people about y'all. Amen. Amen. So if y'all not performing to the fullest, to the fullest, yes, not just some things, not That's just right. a little here, a little there. Yes. Just I like you make a cake, you got to have all ingredients. Yes. Leave out one of those ingredients. Uh, in ingredients. Yeah. It do not oh, taste good. Yeah. Leave out the sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Leave the sugar out. Cakes will taste good, right? And sweet. Leave that part out. Huh, Leave yeah. the eggs out. Yeah. It ain't going to taste right, right? Yeah. It's the same thing serving God. You leave one element, one piece element out, it's not going to work. Amen. Reading, reading Amen. fasting, praying, meditate, and keep your mind on God all the time. Them are the ingredients to serving God. Anything else is no good. Because what happened is you're out there working, whatever it is, your mind is on that. It should be on Yahweh. Even though you're doing that, your mind still should be on God. Yeah. Because you know what? The devil here has been lately pressing, pressing real hard on the church. You've already gotten some of our, our beloved ones. Don't let it be you. Yes, Lord. Not our children, not our babies, not our grown ups, mom, dad, not the bishops, not the supervisors, not the deacons. No, 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 no. That's right. Come on now. Hallelujah. Apostle, Apostle ain't up there in Mexico bragging on us for no reason. He believes in us. Hallelujah. Do what you can to bring funds, to bring that offering, to bring that uh, 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 donation, and bring it with thanks. Yes. Not just, oh, I have to do it. Uh, I have to do this. I'm so tired of doing it. They keep asking me over and over. No, do it. You get all hyped up when a new movie come out. Right. You pay those high prices yeah, for them tickets. Yeah, yeah. Even your kids. Right. You spend money on them. Yeah. And you don't, you do it with joy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they can have fun. Yeah. You're not, oh, I'm tired of doing this birthday stuff and taking them to the park and flex, uh, Six Flags and going to the movie. I'm tired of doing it. I'm not going to do no more. No, you don't get tired of doing that. But when it comes to the work of the ministry, for some reason, you start off strong. But like I said, after a while, you begin to get slower and you start getting slow from slowing down. Amen. Love or pleasure. You're starting to be giving, uh, giving to love and pleasure. Watching MTV. Uh, not, not me, I mean, uh, YouTube and, 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 and Facebook and, and all those movie TV shows and stuff. You're getting wrapped up in watching those kind of shows. When you're, you should be watching more spiritual things, more biblical movies, 
rather than those kind of movies. By now, the church, none of the people should be watching MTV. If you do, shame on you. Shame on you. No one in the church should be watching MTV. Even to listen to worthy music. Yeah. Shouldn't be right. listening to worthy music either. Right. If you are, put it away. Say, I'm gonna stop doing it. I'm not from this day forward. I'm not gonna do it no more. Because I want to serve my God truthfully. Yes. I know I've been sneaking around. I don't want to do that no more. Yeah, right. Right. I, I, I need to keep examining myself. I need to keep examining. I need to keep examining myself. If you do that, you become a lot better. You keep them because you're thinking about God when you keep saying, I need to examine myself. Don't keep questioning yourself. God is real. Yes, he is. Yes, Lord, amen, amen. By this hour, you should be truly 100% believing in God. Lord, Not still Lord. doubting about things. Hallelujah. Question God, is there a God? Or no, maybe. Amen. Why do you keep coming to church then? It don't make no sense. Come here and you still think, no, I'm not sure if I want to do this thing. But something keeps bringing me here. I keep coming for some reason. No, by this hour, you should have already made up your mind. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's song, Make Up Your Mind. There's a song, say that. Who you want to serve? You don't want to come in here and say, well, I'll just come and just be coming. Because just the Bible, we had uh, 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 last, the whoever preached last said the week through with the tears in the church. No, you don't want to stay a uh, uh, tear forever. You need to be that wheat. That's right. Come in here, just sitting down doing it, you'll tear. Amen. Yeah. When you see everybody else is a wheat, because they both look alike. Yeah. Like gold, there's full gold, real gold. They yeah. both look alike. But yeah. one of them is right and one is not. Amen. They look, they you look at them real good, they they look like they both together. Wheat and tear is the same thing. Yeah. You can't tell them apart. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, until you bring them fruit. Or you get it, you want to check it right. Until you want to check me and get some money. Until harvest time. Yeah. yeah. We don't want to be like that. Amen. And all you uh, lazy sleeping people that won't get up and get ready for church and always being late. Yes. Amen. Shame on you. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yes. I don't care if you're tired. I don't care if you just got off work. Get yes. up and get yourself to church. Amen. Or you bring a curse on your house. You don't want God to uh, uh, take take your child away from you. No. The one that you love the most, yeah. show the most attention to, because he will, he, he don't have to take your life. He can take that child. Amen. Yes. Amen. Get yourself up and come on to church and be happy when you come yeah. into the house. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be sad because <laughs> anything can happen is going to happen in the Lord's house. Amen. If you've been stressed out or tired, you're going to get your energy, you're going to yeah. get your blessing. Yeah. You're going to get your answer, and you're going to get everything else that comes with that. But you got to come to the house of the Lord on time and be ready to hear every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. I just read it. Matthews 4 and 4. Don't make me go back. Go get that again. Let's read that. Matthews 4 and 4. Because some of them won't hear when I read that. They're either asleep or whatever the case. Go read that again. Read with a little bit of power. Amen. Yes. Matthews 4 and 4. What does it say? For it is written. For it is written. It is written. Uh-huh. Man shall not live by man bread alone. Man. Yeah. Man. Not weakling. Yeah. Not lazy people. Yeah. Real people. Hallelujah. Man. Man. And man shall yeah. not live by bread alone. That's right. Man. Every word. That proceed out of the mouth of Yahweh. Every, are you standing here today? Hallelujah. You should be taking God's word seriously. Amen. 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 Like I said, I when I said over there, uh, man of God was preaching, it pricked my heart. Yeah. I was leaning over here to this good stuff because I came keep coming to church and helping Ray Ray with the snacks and, and helping my daughter this and open the door. That's fine to Danny. But what about the pastor stuff? Yeah. Checking on the deacons, helping them do what they're supposed to do as deacons. Because yeah. I was a deacon before I became a pastor. Yeah. On Southwest Third Street, I was always working on the church. Yeah. By myself, half, most of the time, by myself. Yeah. Yeah. Cutting the grass, fixing the ceiling, whatever case, fixing the toilets, whatever case to keep my job, my yeah. title. Yeah. 
No excuse for us deacons. I know you're going through things, some of you. But y'all deacons, y'all need to come on up. Yeah. Me, Pastor Riddle, and Pastor, uh, 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 Pastor Desi, we're here to help you, show you what to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a lot of things we need to come up to. Amen. Not just y'all, me too. Amen. Like I said, I'm looking, I'm examining myself. I have not been the pastor that I should have been. But I'm, y'all would give me words to say to prove myself that I can come up to be the best pastor that I can be. Amen. Now I look up to Pastor Jim Dav as a pastor. He did all he could do. Sickness and carrying a bag on the side, just like me wearing this thing on me. Do you think I love working this thing on me? My daughter and my wife will tell you I hate this thing. I hate it with a passion. They say this is what's keeping me alive. I tell them, I say, no, the Lord keeping me alive. What's your excuse? You have no excuse. You ain't got no carrying no bag on your side. Pastor Chen carried a bag on his side. He had cancer. What's your excuse? You got the activity of your limbs and your health and all that. You're not up in age like your mother Anderson and Aunt Peggy. They up in age. They've been in the faith. Y'all young. You can't get tired. You can't tell me that you're tired. That you don't did all you could do. But when it comes to something natural, you all for it. Amen. Amen. Is it something you really want to do? You put your time in it. Yeah. But when it comes to the Lord, Hallelujah. you hold back. Yeah. Like Abram and Cain. Abram gave his best, but Cain just gave a little bit. Yeah. The Lord wasn't pleased with Cain. He said, he said, I'm not pleased with your offer. Hallelujah. Look what Abel did. He did good. You did not. You just did a little bit. Yeah, he could he could have did just like his brother. He could have did like his brother. But he got to thinking. He got beside himself. Yes, Lord. Well, if I do this, I well, I ain't gonna be able to do this. No. Abel came with his best before God Almighty. He came with his best. We need to come with our best. Hallelujah. You think Apostle Harley, uh, Apostle Washington down there in Mexico, Peter Patton around, just being like Cain? No, he's being like Abel, doing his best to, to our brothers and sisters down there to get the gospel witness to our brothers and sisters down there. He does his best when he comes down there. He's not just playing church. He's not just playing church. That's right. Now you can do it. I believe in you. He believed in you. All the bishops believe in you. God believe in you. He chose you. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. We all believe in you, but we can't do the work for you. That's right. Hallelujah. I would love to be able to take that sickness away from you. I would love to take the body's aching pain away from you, but I don't have that kind of power. That's not the power God gave me. That's not my gift. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, saints. Now I'm saying this to me too. It applies to me too. I'm telling me too like I'm telling you. Come on, Pastor Bills. You too. You're not excluded. Come on. Get it together. You want them to believe in you? Get it together. Show them something so they can believe in you again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to start somewhere. Now I know you're falling. I know you're falling. But my hand is reaching out to you. I still believe in you because I told you from the beginning. When you're still in your mother's womb, I chose you. He chose Jeremiah. When you was in your mother's womb, I still chose you. Yeah. Just like he chose you, he chose me. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read that scripture again in uh, Matthew 4 and 4. What did it say? But he answered and no, said. No, with little power. But he answered and said. Uh-huh. It is written. Uh-huh. Man shall not live by bread alone. Y'all but- hearing this? Amen. Are y'all hearing the words I'm hearing? Yes, y'all. Man should not live by what? Bread alone. By, by what? But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Every single word that comes forth out of his pulpit, every single word, every single example, every parable, every uh, uh, witnesses, every single thing that comes across his pulpit, take it. Yes. Apply it to your life. Don't just lay the uh, uh, candle when you go out that door. Pick your candle up and take it with you. Yes. Go back over and look at the, the, the videos. Go back over and watch all the bishops when they get up here and preach. Examine when they preach it. Because you're going to need this word. Amen. Amen. God is not going to take 99 and a half. 
He wants that 100%. Hallelujah. Just like on your jobs, 200%. 200 on your job. I don't care if you're tired, your body aching, 200%. You just have to dig deep. I know it's hard to find, but you can find it. It's in there. Believe me, I tapped into it. I did everything I wanted to do out there in the world. But when it came to God, I fell short of God's glory. I, you heard me right. I did everything for the devil, but, but when it came to God, I fell short. Yeah. Now, if I can do that for the devil, I can do it for the Lord. Amen. There's no reason that I can't perform for God. So if the, if the, the, uh, the Spirit is calling a fundraiser, calling for donation, then let's do it. So this man right here, when he go to Mexico, he'll have everything in there that he needs to go down there. Now, we're supposed to help him. He's the head of all of us. He can't do this stuff by himself. So I'm checking into some Bibles. For him to take down there. So far I've been having some luck. And then I have. I got a call today. And the man said we had to shut down the ministry. But keep in mind. That we're going to try to get back up. And then I'll reach out back to you. So I'm trying to reach out and find these free Bibles. What what are you trying to do for God? I used to say what are you doing for God lately? I say the same thing. What are you doing for God lately? Are you sleeping in your beds? Resting because you're tired? What are you doing? What are you doing when you're not serving God? My, that's my question. What are you doing when you're not serving God? On your free time, so to speak. Yeah, you should be serving God all the time. Not just when you want to. Not when you feel like it. Because this man over here that's sitting over here in this chair. He does it all day long. He get, He's tired. Man of God is tired. But that's not stopping him performing. Amen. Now this man is still performing Tired as he is up in age Starting to get old Well he is old But he's still that's not stopping him performing And you got your help You ain't carrying no bag on your side You ain't carrying no, no vice on your side You ain't got cancer You're not deaf You're not in the hospital You're here You're breathing You got all the activities of your limbs Hallelujah. Now if he can do it Surely you can <laughs> Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Shame on us. Shame on us. My prayer is, Lord, don't take your spirit from the church. We've, I've come up short as a pastor. I don't want that to be some more. And let it not be among the church body either as well. Let us prove our love to you, Father Yahweh. I'm glad that you don't think like man, God. I'm so glad that you don't think like man, because man would have wrote us off a long time ago. They would have locked us up and threw away the key. But God is not like that. We don't God don't think like us. That's right. He made us. We didn't make him. But for some reason, we act like that we can control God and make God do what we want him to do. We can make him uh, hurry up, God. Hurry up and get me out of this situation. Hurry up and get me out of this trial. Hurry up and get me out of this, uh, this tribulation. For some reason, we act like that. We got some kind of power of God. Amen. We don't have no kind of power of God. He has power over us. So if you sit in them chairs and you examine yourself right now, really look. If you examine yourself and it's pricking your heart, do something about it. Hallelujah. Make that change. Hallelujah. Make that change. Amen. Only you can make the change. Make that change. Hallelujah. Now, this ain't no Michael Jackson song, The Man in the Mirror. But it's a true saying. True words. Yes, it is. You don't ask him to change his way. Yeah. You just change your way. You just change it. Just change. I know it sounds easy by saying about words. It's so easy to say it. Yeah. it it's so like, okay, I'm going to change. But no, the part is performing it. Yeah. Words are good, but without performance behind it, it's nothing. Yeah. It's just words. Yeah. Just, yes, it has, it's just words. That's right. We don't want this thing to just be uh, fake. We, uh, we, we should be doing better than the, uh, the other people out there, the other churches. But you know what? We come up short in that area. Yeah. They're perform- outperforming us. 
when it comes to raising funds and donation. They we come up short as for uh, serving, serving like we're supposed to. We come up short. That's right. The Buddha people always meditate. They're always on their knees on their little little square mat, meditating, praying. But we so we caught up in the world in our daily activities. We act like that we I can't do that. That's not important right now. I'm tired. Just got off work. Just fight a battle today. On my job with this lady, this man, that's keep nerving me, keep trying to massage me to get fired. Always uh, uh, bring me for the boss all the time. Sneak around, just look. Let me see if I can find something. Else. Oh, I got one to go run to the boss. You know what so-and-so was doing? Yes. You're too much focused on that. Leave that to God. He will fight your battle. Use the mic. So they can hear you. Working. Okay, man. If you're too focused on your problem and you're complaining about it, you're not asking yourself, what is Yahweh shaping me in with this thing that I'm going through? I'm in this for a reason. He's wanting me to change something about me. He's using this to shape me. If you look at it that way, you'll give thanks for everything yes. you go through. But if you look at it the other way, you're always feeling like a victim yes. and getting yes. angry and frustrated. Oh, yes. And have y'all ever been in those shoes? Oh, yeah. You've been in those shoes? The man of God just told us. He's trying to teach you something. It's a teachable moment. Amen. That's right. Now, you want the easy way out. You act like you don't want to go through nothing. You want this thing to be easy without any work, just free. Yeah. No, you have to pay that price. Yahweh paid the price. I mean, Yahshua paid the price. He went down on the cross. Now, none of us went through what he went through. He got whipped. Throwing the crown on his head. Pierced on the side. Nailed to the cross. Had to carry the cross before they nailed him to the cross. None of y'all went through that. And he still didn't call all the angels in heaven to come help him at that hour. He took it. He, you know why he had to do it? Because of you. He showed the better example that you can, whatever you go through, you can do it. Because none of us went through, he went through. Yeah. None of us. We can live in the old days. We wouldn't make it. It's too hot. You only work, you work six days from sun up to sundown. I want to get Sundays off. We couldn't do that. We too used to our air conditioning. Our refrigerators, our TVs, our cars, they had to walk everywhere or ride a donkey. And that's not easy. That's, that's not easy. But we got so much uh, 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 comfortable here in our own country that we wouldn't make it back there. We would feel God. A lot of us would feel God if we lived back then. But Yahweh said, no, they're not in the in the old days. They're here in the new day. In the new world right now. Even though the devil and his angels are attacking you left and right. And it's always at your ear. In your ear. Give you. Yeah. yeah. That's why I said in the book of Matthew 4 and 4. Uh, uh, Paul was, uh, Brother Michael was reading. That every word out of the mouth of God. Every single word that come out of his pulpit is for your benefit. Amen. But you have to do something. You just can't hear the word. See, I was hearing the word. I didn't mix no faith with the words. I heard the words just yeah. like you hearing the words. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Just don't come in and just listen. You go to the movies to watch, do that kind of stuff. But when you come in God's house, you really listen, apply to yourself, and examine yourself, and do something about it before it's too late. Because I feel God's coming real soon. All the signs are out there. You slow down enough, you can see the signs. The time is here. It's already here. We just don't know the hour and time and what day it is. But it's already coming. Just look around. Everything, all the seasons are almost out of whack. They're starting to have Christmas in July. Who heard such a thing? I'm like, what? Christmas in July. I said, they don't really. Yes, they're doing whatever, whenever they want to. Just get that money. If it was up to them, that Monday, uh, July, uh, January to December, it'd be Christmas. It just, 
Yes, everything commercial, media. To get that money from you, to draw that eye, that lust for things, to take your mind off of God. So if you're watching TV and you're looking at all that stuff, you're not thinking about God. You're thinking what they're showing you. But if you put the same effort into the word, they're coming out of this pulpit. If you do the same, I promise you, you'll be watching less TV. You won't be watching TV. I slow down watching TV. I started listening. So uh, 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 me and my wife have been uh, uh, watching spiritual things. We're getting to, trying to get away from watching uh, all that stuff. To get our minds back on God. Like watching uh, Highway to Heaven, Touched by an Angel. Better watch that stuff than all that other stuff in biblical movies. I'm telling you, it's better to watch that stuff than watch all this crazy stuff. Even the cartoons is all out of whack. You didn't hear me? Even the cartoon is out of whack. They got stuff on TV for games. They watch game stuff. I don't understand this, what they be showing them game stuff. Yes, them kids being drawn to that. It's just, it's like a person playing a video and they talking in, in the, you on this side watching TV and they play and they just talking like, what are you getting out of that? Yeah, you watching them playing the game. I'm saying, I can't understand that. Well, it's the same way in here. We're up here preaching the word. Y'all out there listening. And you just treat it as like the TV with them people, the kids watching them games, video games. But the person playing the game is just watching it and talking. It's the same thing when you come in here and hear God's word. You're just listening. By not getting, taking heed and not getting out. So when you walk out those doors, I promise you, I promise you. I've been there. I walked out those doors and I forgot all about the word. I'm serious. Just forgot playing out of, I start thinking about what I want to do the next day or to come the weekend. That's all that was on my mind. I wasn't thinking about God like I was supposed to. That's why I kept coming up short. But when I was on South West Third Street, I had all my focus on God. Like I said, y'all today, some of y'all wouldn't even make it on Southwest Surgery because we were always at the church. Us brothers, we was always at the church being busy. Amen. Doing something for the work of the ministry. Yeah. We had three broadcasters. Then turn around, we had uh, uh, we had meetings. So we were always doing something at the church, us brothers. So there was no time for distraction on our own time. Amen. We, when we had our own time, uh, 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 our free time, we was at the church. We were talking about, we actually went out into the public, ministering to people. We went into the neighborhoods, us brothers went into the neighborhood, witnessing, proclaiming God's word. That's what we did on our free time. But y'all, young people, is always where to go next to have fun. What can we have fun? What's showing on the movies? What's the latest video come out? I got to have that new game that came out. Not work of the ministry, not witnessing Amen. people like you're supposed to, not letting your light shine. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let's get back to the word. My time is running. Amen. Titus 3 and 2. What does it say? To speak evil of no man. Uh-huh. To be no brawlers. To be, we don't fight. But gentle. But gentle. Showing all meekness unto gentle. all men. You gotta watch that. That hate spirit, that angry spirit. Amen. Amen. You got to be gentle. You got to you got to forgive people. I know hard as it may be, you got to learn to forgive, even though they do you wrong. Realize they don't have what you got. They out there in the world serving the devil, but you serving God. Things just ain't gonna work out all all the time right for you. Remember, you the child of God. They're the child of the devil, so they gonna come at you all the time. But you got to learn to the Lord forgive them, for they do not know what they do. They don't understand. What they're doing. Right. But I know it's hard. That's right. But you got to forgive them. You got to have that gentle spirit. But you can do it. Amen. All of us. Yeah. Amen. Three. Showing all meekness unto all men. Meekness to all men. Not just some people. Not one that you're close to. Yeah. Not one that you get along with so called get along with. But the other ones too. Amen. That's right. The ones that you avoid. 
the ones that gets on your nerve underneath your skin, you got to be good to them. Because they get under your skin. Believe me, I've been there. I know some of y'all been there too. I ain't the only one in here. Other people at my job got under my skin. Work with all women, the only men there too. I had to fight that spirit too. All women, only guy there. It wasn't easy. I was fighting devils left and right. Come on. Amen. For we ourselves yes. also are sometimes foolish. Look, now the Spirit knows. We act just like them before we came to church. We were just like them when we was out there. Before we met God, we were just like them. So you should have it better. It should be easy to you now because you've already been in those shoes. You already know what they're doing. So it should be easy for you to be able to handle the Handle them when they come to you. Yeah. Trying to with that all that mess. Yeah. Should be. Yeah. Should be. Yeah. Should be. Yeah. But you know what? But you forget. <laughs> you get you start getting naive. Yeah. Man. You start to lose that that memory loss. Hallelujah. So when things happen to you on the job, you get frustrated. Get start getting angry. That that spirit of uh 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 wanting to fight. Yeah. Malice. Yeah. So I'm trying to get them in trouble. Yeah. Eye for eye, two for two yeah. kind of spirit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That kind of spirit. Yeah. When you know you was out there in the world before, but God brought you out of that kind of yeah. world and brought you in here that That's you can right. be able to help yourself and save yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Don't forget, remember, yeah. we're the light of the world. If we don't do this thing, there's no hope for mankind. Yeah, right. We can't depend on the president. They ain't nothing. You think they're going to save us? They may save this body, but they can't save our spirit. Wars. We, we weren't about salvation. We weren't about making it to heaven. That's our worry. We're not putting our trust in man. Neither should you. I don't care what it is. Get your mind, your heart right. Get your spirit right again. Reconcile yourself back to God. Hallelujah. Day by day, inch by inch. Every second that you can, give yourself to God. Now, I know you've done wrong. I've done wrong. But there's what God has got a way to get out of that jam. He ain't going to write you off if you have a willing heart, a willing spirit. He'll forgive you. He's going to look at your fruit and your deeds. He will forgive you if you decide to turn your ways. He will. He will do it. But you must do your part. You're drawing out of him, you're drawing out of you. You can't just leave it all up to him and do nothing. He don't work like that. He, it does not work like that. God, you do everything. I'm just going to sit back. Take it easy. I don't have to do anything. You are going to do it for me. No, 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 no. Don't, don't defraud yourself like that. That's right. Don't do that. Pastor, Pastor. Yes. But some people pray, Yahweh, take this spirit away from me. Yes. But he give you the word. He's giving you everything that you need right. to take it away. You got to mix faith and apply it to your life. And that's Amen. how those spirits leave you. See, when you get down and pray, hear me out. When you get down and pray and you pray like that, that's a teachable moment that God's trying to teach you. But you want him to move it out of the way. But so when he ain't going to do that because he's trying to teach you something in that condition, in that situation, that trial at that moment. Apostle Washington shows us uh, 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 many examples in teachable moments. Everything this man do is a teachable moment. Anytime you spend time with him, it's a teachable moment. Oh, oh my Barbecue, people that worked at Oh my Barbecue, they learned a lot. Even a little simple thing. People that had trouble keeping their mouth closed, they learned to keep their mouth closed. People that get the angry spirits, they learn to control their spirit. Being bring their body understood. People that had uh, problems with, uh, speaking with people, they learned how to speak with people because he showed them how to do it. Yes. Even people say, I'm tired of working on my barbecue. I don't get paid. I'm just working for free. They learned something from that. Then he turned around, he fired you on the spot. 
Then you hire you right back. It's like, what kind of job is this? You gonna hire me and fire me? Then I don't get paid? It's called volunteering. Work of the ministry. Now, no doubt, you had the man of God say he take from you and give to the poor to help the saints in the, that's in need. And then, but when you come and need need something, he helped you in that hour. What comes around goes around. Yeah. Everything this man do is to teach my mom. Now, what is your teach my mom? What are you learning? What are you getting out of each message that come up here out of the pulpit? What at the end of the day, what did you get out of the message? That's my question. Speaking of money. Thank you. Yeah, wait, thank you. Do, do people learn anything when they're around you? Can you answer your question? Yeah. What did they learn being around you on your job? Are they have what's the last time a person say, You must be a a a a, 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 a person that's a spiritual person. You must be a Christian. When a person told you that? It never? Amen. Not one time? When the person that came to say, say, that must be something about you. I see a glow about your, 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 your body language, your, your appearance. When? Never? Amen. Some ain't right. Yeah. Amen. You're not witnessing the people when the opportunity to say something to a person, especially when you see them going through something yeah. and you're on your lunch break. That's the best time to say something to them. Amen. Make sure you're right when you go to them. Just don't go to them because you feel like, well... I'm going to give them, tell them what, no, make sure you got a good heart when you go talk to them using spiritual words. Amen. Don't use your words. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Time is almost up. Read. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient. We were foolish at one point. Right? I'll be the first one. I did everything I wanted to do. I lived a wild, crazy, hectic life. What you call them, uh, lost boys, so to speak. I did that. Hang on some cable lines when the railroad train was coming. I, I climbed the biggest tower, electricity, would have killed me an instant. I did all that great thing. And the Lord still saved me from that, being that wicked person. I was living on the edge. I, was, I didn't fear death. I messed with death. I was playing with death. Didn't even realize what I was doing. I was just living any kind of way just to have fun. That was my fun back then. It was foolish. And we can be the same way in here, certain God. We can be foolish. And don't even realize you're being foolish. Who don't consider that they do evil? Read. Amen. For, for we ourselves were sometimes foolish. Uh -huh. Disobedient, disobedient, deceived, deceived, serving divers' lusts, yes. and pleasures, yes, living in malice and envy, yes, hateful, hateful. and hating one another, hateful. Yes. You got that hateful spirit? Yes. Get rid of it, because yes. it will kill you. Yes, it will. Yes. It takes effort to have hate yes. and to stay hate, being hate people all the time. It takes a lot of energy to keep on hating, That's right. just to forgive them. Yeah. Anger yeah. Just to yeah. learn to practice forgiving people. I know it's hard to do. Just learn to forgive people. Yes, and you may find out that at right. some point in time, you heat coals of fire on the head. Oh, yeah. The head. But you just learn to put down being hateful to people. Amen. Being angry at people. Because it does work. Yes, it, does. it works. Yes, it, it really works. Yes. We got an example here. That people can testify and tell you that they came across some people on their jobs <coughs> that just hated them. Yes. But they learned to forgive them. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, read. Amen. Amen. Living in malice and envy. Uh -huh. Hateful yes. and hating one another. Yes. But after that, the kindness and love of Yahweh. See, after you do all that and you come to this room right here, read that. Read. But after that, but after that, the kindness, the kindness and love of Yahweh, and the love of Yahweh, our Savior, and Savior, Lord, man appeared. Yes. Not by works of righteousness, right. which we have done, uh -huh. but according to his mercy, he according saved to us. his mercy. After you did all that wrong, Yahweh still allow you to come in here and he can forgive you. That's right. After all of that, after all of that, coming out of the world, coming in here to get yourself right with God, he forgave you. Well, that's my time. I appreciate you giving the words allowing me to speak in the hour. 
I trust that you will take these words and apply them to your life. Don't leave the candle at the door. Take it with you. Take these words with you. Examine yourself. I'm going to examine myself. I'm going to make sure everything I said today, I'm going to go back and look at it and make sure that I'm doing it too. I'm not going to just tell you. I'm going to do it too. I'm just. I'm. 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 I'm stop telling people what to do, and I'm gonna do it too, so they can see that I'm doing it too. That way, we Amen. you don't have to wrestle with spirits. That's right. uh, but that's my time. Call the next minister to come up and preach the word. Hallelujah. At this time, let's all rise by our saying, "Praise Yahweh, the Apostle Washington." Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Amen. Everyone, be seated. Hallelujah. Amen. It's good to be here. I want to thank the Mosaic. <clears throat> the words spoken by Pastor Bibbs. Trust that they find place in our hearts to apply them and perform. It's always an honor to be able to walk in through these doors. Amen. Amen. To be able to walk into the house of the Mosai. It's an honor to be chosen of God and be part of something that's real. We all gather here for one purpose. <clears throat> and that is the words commanded of the Most High. Yes, hallelujah. You see, truth is that a day is to come. Hallelujah. When time won't be no more. That's what it says. Amen. Amen. There won't be more, no more time to, to repent of anything, to change anything in our lives. <clears throat> we only have it now. This life to do that which is right. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 So we we only have this life. This life. To take advantage of this life that God has freely given unto us. Yeah. And, I, and I do say freely. Really? Yeah. This morning, he freely allowed us to wake up. Amen. Okay. Amen. 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 But there's the end for every man. Every man. Right. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says, appointed once unto a man to die. Right. You're going to die. Yes. yes. And after death, you have to be judged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we take that serious. Yes. Day will come when every one of us, our life will be measured up to the man the whole world sang about. That's right. That's true. Your life has to measure up with his life. Yes, it does. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Paul, one of those of Asia to understand that, that God had pointed a day when every man will be judged and your, our life will be measured to his. Amen. Amen. Don't come up Amen. short. Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. Yes. Amen. Don't come up short. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the reason why we preach like we do. Yes. Amen. Amen. This will make the church so special. You know, we can spend time out teaching about what false prophets teach. Yes, we can. But you're not under the administration. No, we're not. Hallelujah. So every moment that when we come together, the Spirit goes forth to minister to you. Amen. Amen. Yes. I have to do one thing is to prepare you for that day. Amen. Amen. Spirit right. says that we should redeem the time. Seeing, the days are evil. seeing that the days are evil. Yes. And we all can testify how that the, the power of this world pulls against us. Yeah. The spirit of this world always, amen, pulling on. That's right. That's why we got to come to the word. Yes. Open up the book. And you'll find that you're no different than these people we read about in the scripture. Amen. All flesh is the same. It's the same. Hmm? That's 
Paul began to write to the Colossians, the third chapter. And these are his words to those Colossians that would hear. Yes. Amen. It is written. Uh huh. If you then are risen with the Messiah. The reason why Paul said this, because he know what he sees. Amen. Amen. When he's in their presence, he know what he hears. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he that is spiritual yes. judges all things, but yet he himself is judged of nobody. Right. Amen. Amen. That's right. The one that is spiritual minded, when I say spiritual minded, I'm talking about that man or that, that sister who has the mind of the Messiah. They judge all things. But yet that person is judged of no one. Hmm? No one has anything that they can say true or that is bad about a righteous person because righteous people don't do wrong. That's why they call the righteous. They come to the house of God. Now they're not just righteous on their own. They're right because they come to the house of God and they come with a purpose. Yes. They come to hear what the Spirit has to say. One thing about God, church, the Spirit always got something to say. Why? Because it's in the saving business. And nothing that is unclean will ever go back with them. Nothing will. Hallelujah. Do Yeshua Messiah, because of the sacrifice that He had made for mankind. The Bible says that, according to John, that he has made us kings and priests. That was it. Amen. Only the Levites, according to the law, was chosen to be priests. That's right. To take on the priesthood. Yeah. Amen. But Yeshua, through him, his death, his life, he made us all kings and priests. Amen. That would mean that you're responsible for your own offerings. Not everybody else's. You know, the priest had to examine the sacrifice that the Israelites would bring before God. And they had to expect, inspect that, that sacrifice to make sure it didn't have a spot, it didn't have a blemish, no illness. They were responsible to make sure that that sacrifice was whole. See, this way here, because of what Yeshua did, you're responsible for your own soul. Amen. That's right. You, you're, re- you're responsible for your own sacrifices, for your own actions. Yeah. That's why Peter said on that day, hey man, save yourself. Save yourself from this untoward generation. This generation is not going towards God. No, it's not. The, the world is full of religious people. Churches everywhere. That's right. Hundreds and thousands of faith. Right. Hallelujah. The Lord will call you out of all of that. Hallelujah. Into something that, amen, into a place. Hallelujah. Where the Bible said just men are made perfect. And if you're not perfect because you don't have a just spirit. Don't you understand this here? Amen. This house that Yeshua established, the Bible says, it was established to make just men just perfect. Amen. They are made perfect. Yeah. yeah. You didn't come in perfect, but you just why you want to be saved. Yeah. You really want to be saved. You really want to know the will of God. You want to do his will. Yeah. You just need someone to tell it. Yeah. To speak it to you, to show you. Yeah. Yeah. But this is a place. Yeah. But just man is made. Perfect. That's right. Hallelujah. Don't say I'm not perfect because you're not just. That's right. Hallelujah. Don't point no fingers at nobody. No. Because you don't have a just spirit. That's right. The pastor just shared with us that man should not live by bread alone. But by uh, you living. Everywhere. But there's something about life that is more important than bread. More important than whatever you think may be important. And that's the hearing of the word. And to believe what you're hearing. Yeah. Hallelujah. So what did, what did Paul say here? John 
verse 3. Yes. If you get a reason with the If Messiah, so be that you question them. Arisen question the them. Yes, it is. If. If you're risen with him. Seek those things. Then you, it's important that you seek those things. Which are above. That are above. Mm -hmm. Where the Messiah is. Where he already made it. On the right hand. He already God. made it. Yeah. He overcame the wicked one. And the Bible said, and he condemned sin. Now what makes us think that we can walk in it? And think that somehow, some kind of way, he's going to close his eyes to yours. That's right. He condemned it. Yeah. Paul gonna deal with a bunch of sins, you know, the, uh, the sins of the flesh. Yeah. yeah. Writing to people that have been baptized in the name of Yeshua. Already baptized. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Already received the Holy Ghost. In the right church. Yeah. Right. Among apostles, prophets, evangelists, and pastors, and teachers. Yeah. Five Got everything they need. Everything. In order for the inner man can be saved. Yeah. But they're not listening. Amen. They're not taking heed. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's why he said he, he wants them to think. If so be that you have risen with the Messiah. With the Messiah. Seek those things. Then that it's are important above. that you seek those things that are about. Where the Messiah is. Where the Messiah, sit, he already right made it. He already God. made it. We're trying to get there. Yeah. And he said on the right hand of God, set your affections, set your affections on, things above. on things, your affections on things above. You gotta ask yourself, where are your affections? What you truly live for? What did you get up this morning truly to live for? If you didn't get up this morning with a mind pleased about, to walk according to what you have been taught. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Then it's all in vain. Yeah. Watch the word read it. Set your affections on things. Set your above. affections on things above. Not on things on the not, earth. Not on evidently there was some. The affections was on things on the earth. Yes, Lord. Hmm? The affections was on things evidently. Oh, not on things. Apostle Paul would not be bringing this message if it wasn't so. Yes, right. mm -hmm. Not on things on earth. For you are dead. You what? For you are dead. Why do you tell these people this? Why do you have to remind them that they're dead? And your life is hidden with the Messiah. You're dead. Yeah. And your life should be hid. With the Messiah. We should hear that old conversation of the old man. That old man should be rolling off your lips. You're dead. Your life is hid. Hidden in the Messiah. You know, when we was a kid, we used to play hide and go see. Yeah. We go hide and you try to find us. Yeah. Well, some people do not hide good. Yeah. Feet sticking out. Too big. Too, Too big behind that little bush. <laughs> it's like a white brother trying to hide in front of a black bush. And a black brother trying to hide in front of a white bush. Uh, Caught. Can't blend in. <laughs> No camouflage. Then get mad at the person. Like, you you can't too fast. No, you just slow and find another place to hide. Yeah. Not a good judgment of hiding. You're not a good judgment of hiding. <laughs> your old man's supposed to be dead. And your life is hidden. And your life's supposed to, well, I shouldn't see the old man. Yes. I shouldn't hear him in your voice. No. The way you dress. That's right. The way you talk. The way you walk. I should never see the old man. Never. Hallelujah. Some people, the old man, come out when they go to work. Yeah, sure does. They all right, church. Oh yeah, surrounded by saints. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Go visit the their, their, their kin folks. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Go into the mall. Yeah. Yeah. Your life's supposed to be here. In the Messiah. In Him. Yes. Mm -hmm. With the Messiah. Yes. With the Messiah. Our who life. is our what, 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 what? He is He's our a, life. He is our reason for living. Yes. He's our reason for living. We get up to live for him. Remember what he said? As long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. Well, he's not here. He's not here to do good. He's not here to, 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 to build light to people who walk in darkness. Right? He's not here to do that. So he told the Sabbath now, you are the light of the world. You are. You are a city. 
sat on the hill. That sat on, not, not in a valley, on a hill. On a hill. And you cannot be here. Something about you is different than everybody else who claims to know God. That's right. Hallelujah. When you're doing this thing right, you can't be here. You can't be here. So he said, therefore, so let your light so shine, so shine. before men they may see that they may works. see yours. They don't have good works. They may see your good works. They go to church. They cuss you out quick. Quick. Make them mad. They'll fight you. They will fight you. They got a boss they don't like. They're going to tell you about it. How much they can't stand him or her. Yeah, watch out for them. But they church goers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. know me. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. You gonna be the only one as a brother on the job is not looking at women. That's right. Yeah. Not talking about women on the job. That's right. Any uh, female mouth gonna roll off your lips gonna be your wife. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's right. Uh, now you can't tell me you born again. Can't tell. And your your conversation is about. Uh, 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 Phoebe back there. Uh-huh. Who, who, who is that? You just stop working. Just stop working. Mm-hmm. Take out your mirror. Groom yourself. Uh-huh. Yeah, some brother carrying mirrors. <laughs> they carry stuff like that with them. Yeah. Cologne, lotion. Brushes in Brushes in their pocket. Uh-huh. Yeah. All that come on to call sexy this and sexy that. Uh-huh. That's how you was in the world. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's how the world. That's how you was in the world. Yeah. Just that's how you was in the world. Oh, yeah. Lip just a drop as soon as they, they, they hire uh, Ricky. <laughs> I'm sending them moisture. You, but, uh, half, half of the, 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 the lip gloss on your lip. Yeah. Just get it all wet and shine. Soft. Yeah. All right. You're supposed to be different. Yes. You're supposed to be different. Yeah. You're supposed to be different. Yeah. Everything we buy, everything we put on is to give him glory. Yeah. That's right. The Bible says in all your ways acknowledge him. All your ways. Whatever you buy, you buy him. Will he be pleased with this? Not everybody else. Not ask yourself, do you look, I, I, don't, I, I think I look good in this. You, 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 you got the wrong spirit. Yeah. Okay, look good for who then? Amen. Uh-huh. Who you trying to look good for? Uh-huh. Yes, Lord. You got to give an account. Hallelujah. Listen to this. Read it. When the Messiah, when the Messiah who is our who life, is our life, shall appear, he return. then shall you also appear with him in glory. Because you did his thing right. You go back with him. Yes. Oh. Mortify, therefore, now, your members. Listen to it. Mortify. That means put to death. Yes. Yeah. All that stuff you like. Uh-huh. Kill it. Kill it. Amen. All that stuff you like. Yes. Kill it. Amen. That's right. Learn to love what the Spirit wants you to love. Amen. Learn to hate the thing that the Spirit hates. Amen. That's right. If you don't mortify your eyes, yes, especially this time we're living in, yeah. it's more evil now. Yeah. Seeing it's so available. Uh-huh. Around every corner. Everywhere you look, around. That's right, Apostle. He said this is the summertime, so people wear less clothes. Mm-hmm. You want to go swim. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go swim. Uh-huh. You want to go. I, 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 that's, I, that's not enough water, and I like that much. Come on down. How, why would somebody like me who's spiritual minded want to go wet and wild? Why do you think they call it wild? Yeah, that part. Folk get wild when folk get wet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. 
Yeah. That's why it's called, why you think they name it like that? Weird and wild. Yeah, I know what you think. Because some of y'all nasty minded folks. Yeah. That's right. And you got you what? A season pass? <laughs> You're not going to find nobody who's spiritual minded born again at Wed and Wild. Born again. No, you won't. Why do I want to go to a place where folks have naked? Yeah. Amen. That's right. That's right. The Bible said I would turn my eyes. From the sea of evil. From the sea, I'm going to turn it. Now, why will I go to a place? Evil is everywhere. Yeah. All the women had naked. All of them. String holding strap on. Yeah. When you're supposed to be holding. Amen. Amen. When you're supposed to be holy. Modest. You never justify not to be modest. I don't care how hot it is. Now no one, you can't tell me that you full of the spirit. You're at a place like that. My wife and I, we both went on a cruise. Ain't really much on that ship for holy people, but standing in your room and going to the uh, the, uh, the, 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 the the buffet. Yeah. yeah. We wasn't at the swimming pool. No. They had a place up there for for adults only. We surely wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> sure not. Wasn't much we can do. Yeah. That was the longest trip we ever been on. <laughs> Stuck on the ship. <laughs> Amen. Them 10 days seem like 10 years. Because there wasn't nothing to do. Couldn't go to the clubs. In our room, out the room. We were so bored, we went to a false church meeting. But like the past, that was better. We well, enjoyed the song and walk out on the message. <laughs> you don't get involved in everything. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. My wife and I, we were still holy on that ship. Yeah. You can't go on vacation, stay holy. You don't need to go on vacation. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I don't care if you're on your honeymoon. Yeah. Don't, don't get that freaky on your honeymoon. That's <laughs> right. Still got to let your light shine. Yes, yeah. You can, you and your feel sound. Y'all going, where y'all going? Baldy, Baldy. That, that water's crystal clear. Yeah, y'all better be dressed right, too. Yeah. <laughs> Get in the water. Yeah. We went to, Na I went to uh, uh, Bahama, Jamaica, yeah. to preach the gospel. They invited us to come. Said, we've been hearing you on the radio. Can you come preach to us? Went there and we preached to the people. Hmm? The week before, the, the last the two days before we were flying back, we all went down to the beach. Mm -hmm. They said, y'all gonna, gonna get the water? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, of course I'm gonna get in the water. Oh, yeah. But otherwise, you get in the water. She said, of course I'm gonna get in the water. These are the church people that we visit. We got down there. They started taking off their clothes. <laughs> Sisters started taking off. They, they took that, their hat off. <laughs> Slipped out their stockings. Let the dress down. Mm -hmm. Yep. No different than all other sinners. Yep. All we did just walk right in. <laughs> <laughs> sure did. They said, Where are you? Swimming clothes. I said, We got them all. Yeah, we're going to church in. 
<laughs> we got them on. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. They were so ashamed. You never justify. Right. Never. No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What did Peter do when he went fishing? He was that naked. That's what everybody did back in them days. Yeah. It's hot out there. So he took all his clothes out right out there, what everybody else do. Uh, out there yeah. naked. Then they said, that's the law. <laughs> they will grab his clothes and jump in the water and put them on white. <laughs> That's Bible. <laughs> yeah. Didn't know the Lord going to show up. Didn't know that inherited his feeling, did he? Simon, do you love me more than thee? I saw you out there, I know what you're going to say. You ain't Lord. That's how we are. The whole world's like to tell me how they love the Lord. But you tell them what the Lord said, got a problem with it. They got a problem with it. God don't want us to be like the world. No. Hallelujah. Come on, read it. Mortify, therefore, Mortify your, members, your members, which are upon the earth. Which are upon the earth. Fornication. Mortify me, put to death. Put to death. Fornication. 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 One thing about the spirit, whenever they're dealing with the flesh, uh -huh. the sins of the flesh, yeah. first thing they deal with is sex. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first thing. They, well, I don't like women. Well, you like men. Yeah. yeah. That's right. It deal with sex. I don't care what color your skin is. You can be white as snow. Yeah. Black as tar. Black as tar. Yeah. Flesh is flesh. Flesh is flesh. You got to mortify your members. Yeah. You don't mortify your members, you're going to buy the wrong grip. Yeah. Amen. You're going to buy the wrong clothes. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. All of us, the majority of us in here was fornicators. Yes, we were. I know I was. Me as well. So I came here and the Spirit says, good for a man not to touch a woman. That was it. Hallelujah. I never heard that before. Good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, let every man have his own girlfriend. Why? No, girlfriend. Why? Sleeping pot. Why? So in this church, we don't have girlfriends. No. Don't find him here. You got a girlfriend, son? What do you have? Uh, what do you have? Okay, but what do you have? What does she call? Yeah, no, she, there you go, fiance. So why do you want to marry her? To touch. To avoid fornication. To avoid fornication. Yeah. That's, right. That's what I did. Yeah. That's what your daddy did. Uh -huh. That's what your mama did. That's why you here. That's how you got here. Yeah. The brother sitting next to you is why he did. Yeah. The, the pastor behind you that got through preaching why he did. Yeah. And the two other brothers behind him, one younger, one little older, he won't want. He got uh -huh. his eyes on one in yeah. here already. Uh -huh. <laughs> Older than the gym is. That's what he did. Yeah. <laughs> so He's nice. the oldest one in church. Oldest one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sister, will you marry me? You know, I wonder how long you gonna take when you get over here. Of course I will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You gotta mortify those members. Yeah. If you don't mortify those members, you'll sit around with anybody that will lay with you. Yeah. Fornication. Uncleanness. Don't you know that's unclean? Yeah. To touch a person you're not married to them? That's right. Don't you know that's very unclean? Okay. But the world love it, don't it? Yeah. Glorify it. The world love it, don't it? Yeah. I'm in the church that got girlfriends and boyfriends. Y'all came out of it. 99%. Everybody you know in your job, if you're not married to girlfriends or boyfriends, huh? Yeah, shaking it. Uh-huh. That's right. 
Don't you know that's unclean in the eyes of God? Yes, it is. That's why the scripture says good for a man not to touch one. Nevertheless, Nevertheless to avoid fornication, to avoid fornication let every man, let every have, man his own wife, have his own wife. And let every, and woman, let every woman have her own husband. Other than that, it's unclean. Yeah. Uh, I was an unclean person. Yeah. Yeah. I was very unclean. Yes, Lord. I was a whoremonger. Yes. Amen. As a whoremonger, as a man. Yeah. Whoremonger. A man whore. For women. Yeah. And every woman I found in the world was a whore. Amen. Because that's what you are when you sleep. Yes. With a man that's not your husband. Yeah. Because you're not out there selling your body. Yeah. Just that they more smarter than you, at least they make money. <laughs> <laughs> you got to to talk about them. At least they make money. They stand on the corner to find somebody to sleep when you go to the club. Y'all both go home with somebody, but they get money. You just get a phone number. Yeah. <laughs> Very Did you see that devilish life? Yeah. But the man of God said, for we ourselves were sometimes foolish, deceived, and serving divers lust. Lust and pleasure. We also came from that. But the Almighty showed us mercy. By bringing us here. If one of you was invited to come here. You came, you heard something that you never heard before. And you saw your sins. You saw how wrong you were. And you had to do something about it. Come on, read it. Amen. Uncleanness. Uncleanness. Inordinate affection. In, look, uncontrollable affection. Uh -huh. All about sex. My neighbor way. Look at that sister. Look at that man. I got, I used all your mind to think of all what you can do with that one. Oh, your mind think of all kind of. Just can't control yourself. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Can't control your, your spirit. That's all you think about. That's why you can't wait to get them to go to work the next day. Because there she is. Yeah. That's why you drive a long way around. Hmm? So you can go through that toll booth. Hoping that he's going to be there. The guy with the hazel eyes. Yeah. Why you got that toe tag? It's not the track with your tight cell. It's that man with the hazel eyes. Yeah. And you make sure you're in that same lane. That lane. And that lane is always long. Because the other woman is just like you in line. Doing the same thing. Yeah. That's why I love the chick. One thing about the spirit, it pulls the cover off of us. It shows us who we are. What we are. And when you think nobody know about you, God do. You see the sin. Yeah. You see the uncleanness. Yeah. That's right. He wants you to fight that devil. Yeah. He wants you to resist that spirit. Yeah. He wants you to mortify. I mean, put it there. Put it there. Kill it. Kill it. Yeah. Only way to do that to get in that word. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Start listening to the message. Yeah. Amen. Praying. Praying. Singing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Y'all getting this in? Yeah, Lord. Watch the word reading. Inordinate affection. Inordinate affection. Evil lust. Evil. Tell all about lust. Evil lust. Evil lust. And covetousness. You got a wife. Yeah. You got a husband. Yeah. Uh -huh. All you do is sit around. With that, what if? Amen. Because you did not appreciate the one that God has given to you. I appreciate you. Hallelujah. That's right. Y'all listening to me? Yeah. Got to get this stuff out of you. Yeah. Time is running out on you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Uh -huh. Watch this read it. And covetousness. And covetousness. Which is idolatry. It is. 
Idolatry. Come at you, want something that's not yours. Yeah. Want something you can't have. Can't have. That's all you think about, too. All the day long. Every day. Seven days a week. You lay down, you're thinking about it. Ain't gonna break. Ain't gonna go open up your book. Amen. What would it feel like to be married to a Mexican man? <laughs> All that kind of stuff. Now you know you need to pray. <laughs> you need to go fellowship. Concentration to me. Don't be married to a white woman. They just seem like nice. Men. <laughs> well, you stuck with a black one. Yeah. <laughs> the one you chose. The one you chose. Yeah. The one Yahweh gave you. Yeah. That's right. Yes, Lord. All these unclean spirits. Yeah. You got to get rid of them. You got to start, amen, denying, rebuking the devil. Say, when they come to you, when Satan presents it, say, get behind me. Get say, behind me, Satan. Yes, Bible says, resist them. And he will. You resist the devil. And he shall. He ain't gonna stick around if you resist him. He'll flee. Hmm? Yes. Come on, read. Covetousness. Covetousness. Which is idolatry. All, all that become like a image to you. Yeah. It become a god to you. Yeah. Your trial become a god to you. You're not resisting. You're not fighting. It. You just think on it all day long. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hmm? Amen. Yes, Lord. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Old as I'm, 63 years old. I don't watch out. Amen. The devil come talk to me. Amen. You know, you it, it make, make me want to think I'm, I'm 22 again. I'm not 22. I'm 63. Hmm? Hallelujah. Eh? Hallelujah. And I ain't gonna tell say call me a young man. <laughs> like, don't say sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah like they say. Yeah, yeah. yeah they say, that's my father. That's my father. That's my father. Yeah. Tell my son, don't call me father, just call me I'm your man. Yeah. Tell nobody I'm your dad. Yeah. What's the word reading? For which things which say, things say the wrath of Yahweh. Y'all hear the Bible talking here? Yeah, the wrath of God. Y'all hear the Bible talking? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly how close it is we become when God, we make God angry with us. Yeah. He begin to take our blessings away from us. Yeah. Because we come into him with these unclean spirits. Yeah. Unclean spirits. Hallelujah. God wrath comes upon the children, the children of disobedience. Now, you're not talking about folks outside in the world because they not none of here. No. No. They don't even know his will. No, People in your job don't know his will. Why do you think they talk the way they talk? Yeah. Act the way they act. They don't know nothing about no holiness. No, no. Right. So who would be the children of disobedience? The one in the church. Would it not be us? Yeah. Who's in this way? Who's coming to church every yeah. Tuesday and Thursday and Sunday? Yeah. Get in church. the words of God. Say amen to it and go away and do opposite. Amen. amen. Disobedience. You become the children of disobedience. You, know what you got to learn to cut that phone off. You can't. That, it's a bunch of unclean stuff on that phone. Yes, it is. And all you that like going in the corner somewhere and hide. Uh huh. Huh? Yeah. Always in the corner somewhere and hide. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh -huh. A bunch of filth on that. Yeah. YouTube, a bunch of filth. Yeah. Facebook got a bunch of filth. Yeah. TikTok, a TikTok, whatever it is. It's right. bunch of bunch of filth. Yeah. So how can you tell me you born again and you involved in all of that stuff? Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah, you in you in that, and on that more you are in the word, yeah. and you wonder why you can't get rid of these unclean spirits. Yeah, yeah. hallelujah. Satan yeah. hunts you like a lion. Yeah, Bible yeah. says you have an adversary to devil. Yeah, huh? And he's walking. He's, he's looking who he can devour. You know he's looking for the weak, the weak people, the weak-minded folk. That's what the lion does. 
And if you've never watched National Geographic, go watch it. And you wonder, so why does God keep passing by all these other zebras? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm chasing them way over. Why are you doing it? Because the lion, you understand, he look, uh, they looking for the wheat yeah. of the flock. Right. Because the, the one that's not weak, lying, you got to put up a fight. Because yeah. they go going for the wheat. That's what the devil do. You wonder why he won't leave you alone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's always at your house. Because he knows you don't have no fight in you. He's going to oh, take your phone. You mean to do good, pop up something nasty, unclean, pop up. He knows you're going to go through it. Yeah. yeah. That's right. You know, you know, you, 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 you will go through it. Yeah. A strong, just go right through it. Mm-hmm. Get behind me, say, mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah, you're going to browse. But you, you're going to browse. You're going to open it up. Yeah. You're going to look into it. Yeah. Hallelujah. You got to mortify your member. God ain't going to make you put away the wickedness of your doing. You got to do it because you love him. Yeshua said, if any man love me, he will. He will keep my commandments. He will keep my commandments. And he said, don't love the world. Love not the world. Neither thing that's in the world. That's right. For the lust of the eye and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. And the world passes away. Yeah. Amen. Right? If any man love the world, the love of the Father not in you. And if you love the world, the love of God is not in you. That was it. Hallelujah. So when I don't see you walking right, I don't come what, how many songs you come up with, how long your testimony is, and how well you think you can preach. That's right. I know the love of God is not in you. Is that what Yeshua told those Pharisees? You have convinced me. You have convinced me. Don't think I'm picking on you. You have convinced me that you have not the love of the Father in you. Love not the love of the Father. You don't have the love of the Father in you. Hallelujah. You can't, amen, resist evil, then the love of the Father is not in you. That's why you can't do it. Amen. That's why in the church you're always going to be wheat and tares. Yes. There will always be wheat and tares in the church. Yeah. Hmm? Paul talked about it in a great house. It's not only a vessel of gold and silver, but earth and wood. Some to honor and some to dishonor. You that feel like you've been dishonored, dishonored in here? Yeah. Yeah. Are you examining the scriptures? Yeah. 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 How can the spirit honor you if you're walking in sin? Yes, y'all. Matter of fact, Paul said, if any man draw back unto perdition, unto perdition right. he, he said, hey man, his heart, his soul have no pleasure in that man. Because right. you can't get baptized in him, Yahshua. Right. Filled with the Holy Ghost don't mean nothing unless you continue in him. All right. All right. You gotta continue in here. My soul has no pleasure in them that draw back under perdition. You wanna go back to the thing that had you condemned? Yeah. That lifestyle? That way of thinking? Amen. Yes, Lord. That's right. That's right. Y'all hear me talking? Yeah. Yeah. My Paul's is preaching the way he's preaching. He's trying to stir them up. Come on, let's get through it. I'm running out of time. For which things sake the yes. wrath of God comes on the children of disobedience. Yes. In which you also walk sometimes. Sometimes. Not when no you more. lived in them. Not, no, not no more. Sometimes. Sometimes. When you lived, when you in, lived them. in them. Come on, read. But now you also put now off you all these. You got this stuff also off. Got anger. Oh, yeah. Let me them put some tanks in church. Got issues with the anger. Anger. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, all the time. Someone tell you you've been mean. Yeah. You always been mean. You've been, t- you've been telling, you know, that's what they've been saying to you lately. Mm-hmm. You sure getting mean. Yeah. <laughs> got quiet when I said that. <laughs> yeah, got quiet when I said that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Man, gonna come from your family. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, sir. All right. That's right. They want to live with you. Oh, yeah. You gotta put it off. Oh, yeah. yeah, anger, anger, wrath. You gotta get rid of it. Oh, yeah. Get up, get up, just blow. Just get, 
Get mad quick now. Just get mad quick now. Three years ago, they can catch in the fire. You just lay there and don't say nothing. But soon you see the spark. Yeah. Pure gasoline. Pure gasoline. You don't put this stuff off of you? Yeah. Yeah. Rat? Rat. Huh? Rat? Malice. Always upset with somebody? Always rat. Can't keep people name off your tongue? Yeah. Full of malice. Uh huh. Want revenge. Want revenge. Yeah. That's why you keep bringing their name up. Yeah. And you talking about you suffering yourself to be the product of you. Now you, if you keep bringing their name up, you have, you're not suffering. You're, you're not doing a good job suffering yourself to be the product. No. Amen. Now how does the whole church know about that brother now? What he did? Uh huh. You talking? Yeah. Amen. Got that grudge against him? Yeah. Oh, don't let nothing happen to your family. You let everybody know why it happened. Yeah, you know what? You got to get rid of these spirits. Yeah. Because you here don't mean anything. That's right. I will say the truth. If y'all would come tonight, the majority of, of us wouldn't go back. Hallelujah. From the oldest to the least. That's right. That's right. Because we won't. Some of us have not mortified these things. Yeah. Yeah. Husbands still angry with their wife. Just blow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wife get all out of spirit with her husband. Just, I just lose it. I lose it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Bishops no, no patient. Yeah. Age no patient. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You got to get rid of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I can't do it for you. No one else can. No you have can. to do it yourself. Have to. It told you to put it away. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Wrath. Amen. Malice. Malice. Blasphemy. And what? 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 Blasphemy. Blasphemy. I know there's a church won't walk up right. You blaspheme. Blaspheme. Amen. You blaspheme. Oh, yeah. Every yeah, preacher up in preach and tell folks what they shouldn't should not be doing and won't use themselves on example as blasphemy. Blasphemy. You're a blasphemer. Yeah. You shouldn't be telling no one to do nothing if you ain't did it yet yourself. That's blasphemy. The Bible says the husband that labor must be first part. Must must it's a, you got must, it must be. Must be first part The husband that labor must be. It's a must. I'm not gonna tell you something that I myself not doing. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna do it. That means I'm not doing it. That's why a father have no right. To tell his child what to do if he's not doing it. Yeah. A mother have no right to give her child any counsel whatsoever yeah. if she's not right. Because yeah. you know what the Bible said? It's what comes out of the heart. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Envy? Yeah. Strife? Yeah. Murder? Yeah. All of these things come from the heart. Yeah. And these are the things that corrupt men. But if the heart is not right, how can you talk right? Yeah. 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 If the heart is not right, that's why Yeshua told them Pharisees, and all, not only them, but those that followed him, he said, you either make the tree good with the fruit, or make the tree evil with the fruit. With the fruit. But don't you sit here and make the tree good and the fruit bad. Yeah. Yeah. You do it. You either make the tree evil with the fruits, make the tree good with the fruits, but don't sit here 
Right. And say you're a good tree with bad fruit. Amen. 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 It's your choice. Yes. And he said, and the axe is laid at the root of the tree. Yeah, twice did. If that tree is not good, it's coming down. Yeah. That's why the message is preached the way it's preached. Right. Yeah. Because every tree that is not of God, it gets cut down here. Yeah. 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 That's why we don't like coming to church when we ain't right. Because right. like yeah. the axe is laid there. Hallelujah, the Holy Spirit going to use that out. Yeah. And the tree coming down. Yeah. Y'all getting this, this, this yeah. tonight? Yeah. That's why we speak like we do. Yeah. You know, in Mexico, they think I preach hard, but he preached too hard. That's why people don't come to church. No, people don't come to church, they ain't right. Yeah. Yeah. They don't want to be right. Don't be. Bible says they, they don't come to the light. Yeah. Neither will they come to the light. Right. If they come to the light, their deed will be made manifest. Right. That they have not the love of God in them. Right. So the word is right. Because the Lord said, My sheep will hear my voice. Yeah, yeah. My sheep. I can't preach hard enough. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Not for my sheep. Because so they going to hear my voice. Yeah. Huh? They know it. They hear it. They follow. Because they know they shepherd. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody that backslid, backslid because they're not his sheep. Yeah. Right. Bible says they all went out. They left us. Because they all was not of us. They manifest themselves to be an anti-Christ. They know we're going to hear the words of Christ and fight against it unless he's a Antichrist. You know, I like these churches, they talk about Antichrist, you know, he's coming. No, I see Antichrist everywhere I go. I got him in my family. Show him what the Bible said. Show him what Christ said. They get mad, close their ears, won't even hear. Why, why do they do that? Because they, they don't want to change their way. So we ain't wait for no Antichrist to come. First John 2 18. No. You want to see one? Go look in the mirror. Yes, there he is. There he is. Right at you. I was saying, I'm talking about that many antichrists many. already going out into the world. Many antichrists already in the world, John said. Many of them. Hallelujah. Many of them. Even now, are there many antichrists? That's what he is. That's what I'm here tonight. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's up here tonight. Yes. Setting among us. Yeah. You got a problem with what we preach? Right. Why? Uh-huh. Paul said we don't preach ourselves. Oh. But the Lord Yeshua. We right. preach Yeshua. We only tell you what he said. Yeah. You don't like what he said? Uh-huh. If you don't like what he said, that means you nothing but an antichrist. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody roll your eyes like you do. Yeah. Close your Bible when the word going forward. Yeah. And we reading the read writing too. Yeah, right there. And you close the word right book. And while we reading the read writing, the one you claim you like listening to. Your faith. And you close it. Close why would you do something like that? As an antichrist spirit. In you, yeah. The antichrist is not flesh, it's the spirit that's it's in the flesh. Yeah. That's why Yeshua told them Pharisees, you're up your father, the devil. And the lust of your father you will do. We'll do. Satan don't abide here. In truth. Satan is not here. He's not in the truth. Amen. And when he speak of a lie, he speak of, he his, speak of his own because he's the father of all lies. Who is the father of all lies? Satan. So every lie that come out of your mouth, you didn't think of it. I want y'all to hear me well. I said every lie that comes over your lip, you did not think of it. You're not the author of it. You got it from something. You got it from someone. You think it's you. You think you're good and lying. I get away with lying. I'm so good. My master, yeah. Yeah. No. That's not you. Amen. You didn't come up with it. Hallelujah. Your father. Yes. The devil gave it to you. Yeah. 
That's right. And you spoke. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. No, it don't. You lied today. Not quiet. Yeah. Amen. 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 You lied today. Amen. Oh, Amen. Yes, Just in that thing. <laughs> and all these visions coming to you. <laughs> all these conversations. And you choose the one you think gonna work for you. You can't come up with a lie unless the father of all lies gave it to you. Amen. So if I don't tell you these things, you won't know the power, truly know the power of Satan and how he has the whole world in sin. But if I tell it to you and don't hide it, then you can acknowledge, oh my God. Yeah. I'm not saved at all. Yeah. I never saw it like that. Uh huh. You mean it's not me? Thought I didn't think of it. No, you didn't think of it. If you, if, if, he's the father of all life. Not some all. You, you can't credit yourself with not one of it. Uh -huh. He's the father of all of it. That's right. All the lies. That's why I love the church. Amen. That's true. How can you ever turn from your sin if you don't see? It? How can you ever run for your life if you don't see how messed up you are? How will you ever change and become holy if you don't see how unclean you are? That's why the gospel must be preached. It's supposed to prick your heart. Your heart does not prick, you won't never change. You won't even try. The mess like this make you think quite twice. Oh, yeah. Never come put some in your mind. Yeah. Say, give a homie, say. Give a homie, say. I'm mortifying this member. Yeah. I'm putting away lying from you. Yeah. That's what the Spirit says. Amen. 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 That we should put away lying. Yeah. Yeah. Lie not. Speak the truth and lie not. Yeah. 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 Supposed to speak the truth. Yeah. If you get up and go to work like you're supposed to, you want to lie, talking about hey, let the alone to go off. Uh -huh. Or you ran out of gas. Uh -huh. Amen. It was an accident on the freeway. Yeah. On the freeway. Uh -huh. Go to work. Yeah. Get, Get your lazy self up and quit hitting that snooze button. Yeah. And go to work. Yeah. Y'all hear what I just said? Yeah. I got, I got a few more minutes. Come on. Blasphemy. Yes. Filthy communication Filthy out of your mouth. Filthy communication out of your mouth. Get rid of it. Lie not one and to quit another. quit lying. You got to stop that. Yeah. You mean the church, some of the, some of the saints in the church were lying? Yeah, got me. Huh? Yeah. You mean some of them were lying? Some of them were lying. You got some here liars. I'm just under the technology. I know what we have. Oh, well, lie. Them that are born again of the Spirit, they don't lie. They tell the truth. Even if it break your heart, they gonna tell the truth. I'm gonna read it. Lie not one to lie another. Lie not one to another. Seeing that you have put off the old man put off with his deeds, man with all his deeds. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And I have put on the new now man. Let's put this on now, the new man, which is renewed in knowledge. Which is renewed how? In knowledge. Oh, why is you renewed in knowledge? Because you've been taught. Been taught now. You taught knowledge now. Yeah. Now let's put this here on. Let's wear this. Come on. Put on the new man, yes, which is renewed it. in knowledge. Read it. After the image of him that created him. After who? The image of him that created him. If you're not walking like him, then you're not right. That's right. But he said, be you holy. That's what he said. I am holy. Yeah. And God said, I'm a God that lie not. Yeah. So you're supposed to be like him. Yeah. Don't lie. Yeah. Speak the truth one to another. Yeah. Come on, read. Well, there was neither group. Yes. Greek well, nor what, Jew. what, what, what? Greek nor Jew. You can't blame it on the race theory. No. No. Greeks don't have no justifiable reason. No. Not to be like the Lord. No. Come on. Nor Jew. Jews don't have no reason not to be like the Lord. Circumcision, circumcision or uncircumcision. Or uncircumcision. Barbarian. Barbarian. Scythian. Scythian. Bond nor Bond free. Bond nor free. But the Messiah is all. If he's in you. Uh-huh. And in all. If he's in you. Yeah. You cannot see him. That's what he said. 
Amen. That's what the Bible said. Listen. John said, if these things be in you. And abound. And they are bounded. Not some kind of box. They are stuck there. Hallelujah. You neither be barren. Neither be barren. Ain't nothing going to come up going to call you to start a cussing. Nothing. You prepared to get up and go to work tomorrow. And the freeway is going to be filled. Again. Again. <laughs> but you ain't going to cuss like you got that. Not at all. Hallelujah. You're not going to be asking stupid questions like, where all these people come from? They live here too, you know. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> hmm? yeah. Is this thing in you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Somebody coming on the shoulder, coming in. On, Nobody mm -hmm. else won't let him in, but you'll slow down. Yeah. And you'll let him in. Yeah. You'll act like you don't see him. Keep on. Yeah, squeeze him out. <laughs> You're the nice one out there yeah. on Bush Freeway. Yeah. They wave at you when you let him in. You let him in. Hallelujah. You're the nice one. Yes. If they're a road rage, and not because of you. Yeah. Amen. Y'all got this here? Yeah. All right, my time is up. Amen. Let's take what the Spirit said. <laughs> y'all always make sure y'all always keep it. Turn my hands up. Little Michael. You see him out saying praise y'all way. Praise your saints. We ask that everyone took the word. It was very powerful today, yes, tonight, Amen. and Always apply it to your life. Now we're going to turn the hands in the service. Uh, dessert. Tithing and offering.